Hey guys, Tycandrus here again with another quick video review and hopefully I'll try and keep it quick quick and simple this time around. So this is a quick video review for the Star Wars uh, Builder Droids. Uh, it's actually Droid Factory I think it's called the series and it's a Builder Droid TC70 and if you're not familiar with this uh, protocol droids designation this is the same protocol droid that was in Jabba's palace for the Clone Wars series. He, or sorry, she, because she has a, a female personality. She was first appeared in the Clone Wars movie that they did for to kickstart the whole uh, Clone Wars TV series, and she's appeared in a few episodes again since. Um, in they did release a figure of her in the Clone Wars line. I think it was one of the first figures that they released, which was she was basically a actually she wasn't released on her own if I recall correctly. She came with a Jabba the Hutt set, and because she's basically Jabba's translator droid, and uh, she basically was a re repaint of the three PO for the C three PO from that series with the light up uh, piping for the eyes, which was a really cool design you could uh, shine light through the back of the head and you could see the eyes light up on her but uh, this figure is different this figure is based off the more because the original Clone Wars figures are based on more cartoon appearance these are based more on the movie realistic appearances the figure that I'm reviewing now so this figure is actually a repaint of another build a droid figure and a build a droid figure that they reused or repainted for the purpose of this figure was called U Tree or U P O U Tree P O I think yeah U Tree P O. Basically, it's um, standard sort of protocol droid figure. So you got heads on the swivel. Now the arms and legs. Sorry. So. The way you got it is you bought it as a builder figure, so you bought a figure, say like, I think it was like, um, in the way there was a breakdown of something like Scout Troopers, Droids, there's a few um, Jedi characters and a few, um, I think there was one of the Geonosians uh, were part of it, and you'd buy the figure and you get like, say the torso, you get the arm with one of them, but I kind of cheaped out, I didn't buy all the figures for it, and I because I didn't want to have extra duplicates of figures that I already had so I just went and picked up the figure itself separately on eBay so uh, I didn't pay over the mark for it I paid roughly about 15 quid which wasn't too bad just about the same price as one of the figures on their own so it wasn't too bad so she just snaps together like this and it's basically the original figure that it's based on is called as I said U3PO which is was a silver um, silver protocol droid and it was one of the very first protocol droids that you see in the Star Wars films it was um, I can't remember that one also had a female personality chip or was a male but the first time you see him or her it is in Star Wars New Hope and uh, she or it's running along behind 3PO and R2 during the assault on the Tent of Five so just a little bit of Star Wars history for you and then this guy or this one is um, as I said Jabba's proto personal protocol droid so I'm assuming if this is the same protocol droid that we hear of in uh, was it in Return of the Jedi or when the when 3PO and R2 meet up with Jabba and um, I think it was is it ED or is it EV9 says that They've been without a protocol droid since our master disintegrated the previous one. So this could have been the uh, precursor to Troopio becoming uh, Jabba's protocol droid. But in any case, uh, onto the articulation. So the heads can swivel around. It's sort of on a ball joint. can sort of look for up and back. Waist is on... Waist is quite articulated. So it's on a ball joint. There's no lower uh, waist articulation. Arms can swivel around. There's a single elbow joint. Elbows can swivel as well. And there's a wrist swivel as well. And so you got uh, elbow joints for both sides. Then you got legs can go sort of forward. They're a little bit hindered on the um, sculpting of the plating. Uh, 
can't go too far back because it's well you can get them quite a bit back actually the, the back of the armor does kind of hinder it a small bit single hinge knees again the, you can slightly rotate the uh, the um the knee as well and then you got uh, foot swivel and there is forward and back tilt on the foot so there you go guys um, as I said I'll try to keep it short just a quick review of TC70 from Star Wars The Clone Wars and this is the um, Star Wars uh, Droid Factory version of her which is based on a more realistic paint scheme and realistic movie accurate uh, style figure than the uh, cartoon style Clone Wars figures. So there you go guys. Hope you like my quick review. Hopefully I didn't waffle on too much and if you like click like and if you want to uh, subscribe to the channel and if you feel you want to feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. So hope you enjoyed the video guys.